well, they're observing the stuff on the cameras, um, but it's all entered by hand. It's not automatically detected. So people are, you know, putting in their work permits and they're entering when they're starting work. And if they see congestion, the camera will say, okay, this congestion event has started. We need to monitor it, and then they'll close it out when they see the first stage. There are other um, data sets that we have, you know, from the pro yeah. data sensor data, where you can do the same thing with automated bottleneck locations for the current So that's the part of that, that bottleneck stuff on the timeline. We kind of, kind of the same result. We start to see you know, the roads that are heavily used during the morning, evening rush hours. Um, those, uh, the section of those graphs start to fill up in the nighttime and then we're there and left empty. Uh, so on the, I focus on the one on the left so far. The one on the right insight you can kind of get is on the, uh, a larger scale. Um, we're looking at basically a 24 hour period on the left. So we can see the more weekly patterns on the right. You can see that there are no construction that's really scheduled uh, with a few exceptions. Uh, during Saturday and Sunday, though there is uh, an evening rush hour on those days. Um, so you can see that the, uh, the evening rush hour on, on Friday, that's the uh, band right here, is uh, quite a bit longer and more uh, has a, a greater impact than, say, the morning rush hour on Wednesday and the evening rush hour on Wednesday. So uh, that's, that's that uh, visualization. Um, I don't have any any thoughts about that? Any else I want to throw in? Okay, cool. 